So now let us look at the another methods or mode of reproduction in organisms that is vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation, these methods that are applied in plants to get various agricultural benefits. Many of the plants, they are able to produce young ones from their vegetative parts. So what are vegetative parts? Plant having different parts like leaf, stem, roots, flowers, fruit, seeds, buds. Out of this, flower is the reproductive part of the plant. Pollination takes place in the flower. Fertilization takes place in the flower. The flower, it turns to fruit. It bears the seeds and the seeds, they sprout up into new plant. This is sexual reproduction in plants. Apart from the flower, the other parts like leaf, if a plant is able to produce a new plant either from leaf or from stem or from root or from bud. If a new plant is produced from either of these parts, you call it as vegetative propagation. Naturally, this may not happen in all the cases. But artificially in nurseries, if you practice it, you can get new plants identical to the parent plant within a very short period. Examples, sugarcane. You might have seen sugarcane. It is just like a bamboo, but it is soft and it is uh, having sugary juice. The sugarcane, it has got so many nodes. It is divided into nodes. At each node, you can see some root-like structures. If you cut the sugarcane into parts, and we have to see that each part contains at least one node. And if you plant that part in the soil, you will get a new sugarcane plant. That means from stem, stem cutting. In the same way, rose plant, if you cut a piece of stem, rose stem, with a blade you have cut it, and you planted the stem in the soil, it grows into a new plant. What is the benefit? See, you have gone to your friend's house, there you have seen a rose which you liked the most. You thought it is the flowers are most beautiful. You wanted some rose plant with the same kind. You cannot get the same kind with same color, same brightness. You may go to nursery and find out. Very difficult. So you wanted to have the same kind of plant at your home. So then you can ask your friend's permission and then you can cut a small stem, a part of the stem, small branch. Then you can take this rose branch to your house and you can plant it in your pot. After a few days, it will produce roots and it grows into a new plant. And it will bear the flowers exactly like your friend's plant. Genetically, they are identical. Reproduction is very simple. You wait till the rose gives you the seeds and if you plant the seeds, you may not be able to get the same kind of plant. Because this plant might have undergone some cross-pollination. So by sexual reproduction, if you collect the seeds of this plant and sow that there, you may not get exact copy. But by the method of this stem cutting, stem cutting is one of the visited to propagation, you will get the exact copy. So there are different methods of visited to propagation like cuttings, cuttings stem cuttings, grafting, grafting, layering. These are the various methods by which we can produce new plants from the vegetative parts of the plants. Vegetative parts are leaf, stem, root, bud. From these we can get the new plants with the identical characters. So this is the advantage of the vegetative propagation which is widely used in the plantations, that is in the fruit plantations, vegetable uh, cultivation and flower, floriculture, culture of flowers. Flowers also have got good commercial importance, various kinds of flowers used for decorations and various purposes. So they have a lot of commercial value. This kind of plants are also propagated so quickly in the nurseries by following the vegetative propagation methods. If you like this video, Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.